Bonjour, aujourd'hui, nous sommes McCready. Et c'est un jour, non, c'est un jour Norvégien. Yeah. Et, let's see, where was I? Wednesday, cloudy. Pretty much it. So on Tuesday, let's say Tuesday, what did I do? Nothing. Nothing. But I did uh, have a topic saved up for today. Ooh. Uh, trashed. Never pick up trash. That's one thing. Uh, not saying I never, never pick up trash, it's just that here items are. Uh, how do I put it this way? It's relatively a okay. Like a mouse costs $59. Let's say $99, right? $100 for a mouse. But then again, in Malaysia, mouse is already like 20, 30 ringgit, ringgit, all right? And average mouse is here like, what, 10, 20 dollars? So yeah, it becomes, no, the value of the mouse is different because of the exchange rate. And that's why we're gonna talk our financial situation right now. All right, this vlog will tackle the financial issues to add it up financial situation and why when no why when how okay uh, I, I got a little bit messed up there but yeah it's gonna be financial okay let's start off with the current situation which is do I have enough money to stay here and the answer would be an astounding yes for two reasons right number one I already saved up enough money to stay until 1st of December that's the hard deadline for me if I don't get work. Okay, then I'll go back to Malaysia. Number two, benefits. We of COVID-19, I get benefits, so that's also great. Uh, however, there's a caveat note there that I might not get it. But yeah, in terms of eligibility, so that, that one's a bit tricky because if I don't get a job anytime soon, I can't, might not be eligible because yeah, there is some little little requirements over there that I'm not 100% so sure that is for people like me, right? When I say people like me, it means temporary workers. And so, to do a quick recap with benefits, perfect, right? That would be the perfect planning. The, the Everything goes according to plan. Also, without benefits, also still can, just that it's gonna be, and also it's gonna be, that was the original plan. It's just that, well, when I factor in the benefits, it's different, right? Everything changed. Uh, not to say for the better, but I can tackle more other stuff. That's the main reason. Okay. So now comes to the most interesting part is how much money do I need to live here? Currently, I've set up a budget of $1,000, okay? $1,000 is actually just nice. Not too much, but not too little. Now, the reason why I set up $1,000 because if I were to go back to Malaysia, and that's where this little exchange comes in handy, right? I have 3,000 ringgit, and 3,000 ringgit, I could survive for a whole year without working as of today. That's not fun. Uh, 3,000 ringgit. No, if I get 3,000 ringgit per month, huh, 3,000 ringgit for the whole entire year, yes, that's too much. All right. If I get 36,000 a year, I can rely on 3,000 a month for the whole entire year. That is literal, uh, probably comfortable around that line. Yeah, pretty much here. So I'm going to make it happen as well. 1,000. Dollars, right? One thousand dollars here should put me in the right perspective. Yes, perspective, right position, right comfortable position, and that's the reason why uh, with the benefits it helps, right? It helps. I get, I get the required, not required. I get to save more, and then I get to carry over, and then I can stay here much longer. That's the main reason why when the benefit comes in it propel the plan a little bit more like if I need to stay here a bit more to get my PR yeah I can but that's another day that's a story for another day a plan for another day 
So yeah, exchange rate is very important. 1,000 here, 3,000 Malaysian ringgit. 1,000 here, I can live. Same goes with 3,000. I can live in Malaysia now. However, in Malaysia, I can push that number much lower. The only downside is, uh, sadly, my mortgage takes half of the money of 3,000 and I left with almost half and bills and everything probably is a different story uh, well let's see if I were to get back to Malaysia I will do a challenge let's start with 2,000 ringgit I can survive with 2,000 ringgit perfecto and this kind oh pfft. smoke anyway that comes to the closing statement so uh, $1,000 and then if I can earn a passive income to earn a thousand dollars a month, right? That translates about so I need to earn twelve thousand dollars a year. Twelve thousand dollars times one hundred is one point two million. One hundred no, sorry, hundred and twenty k. Hundred twenty k divided by one hundred is one point two, yeah. One point two million dollars and then I just live off the passive income and that's where the money comes in however uh, fix not fix it but uh, yeah, and anything has to do with interest gets taxed over here so twelve thousand dollars is ouch very painful very ouchy in the RV same goes with Malaysia right Malaysia is three thousand ringgit so I need 3,000 ringgit, 36,000 ringgit, 3.6 million ringgit. And that's it. That's a quick financial plan uh, breakdown for today. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Most probably today is going to be a lazy day again. Lazy, lazy day. Hmm. I need to find a way to build my income stream to keep flowing in with that capacity. Yes.